Generally when I'm walking, uh, if I see something in the distance, you know, whether I'm taking someone to teach or, you know, I'm taking like a crew of people, uh, just when I spot something, um, stay still, uh, don't try to move, um, don't make any noises, you know, don't go stepping on leaves or branches or anything like that, that could, you know, signal the animal to take off. Um, you know, if I see a rabbit, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take off after him um, as quick as I can. I'll try and scare him into like a retreat, whether it be like a log or you know, a burrow or a network of burrows. And then from there, you can actually clean your attack. Okay, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I've just fluffed one in for sure. Uh, he's just came in through this hole here. So uh, I've just been trying to flush rabbits into the network, trying to get him in there retreating. As soon as you've got the animal in there retreating, um, pretty much all comes down to strategy and technique now and trying to get him out. Well, yeah, I know I've got a shit haircut, but I'm trying my best to blend into the natural surroundings and find something that's going to help me catch these rabbits. Now, it's all about strategy and obviously trying my best not to look like I've been lost in the bush for six hours. This is how using your understanding of a predator-prey relationship can help in a survival situation. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking out in the distance. I'm also looking three, four, five, six metres in front of me. And as I'm walking, I'm just surveying the area around. And obviously, I'm just looking out for a shimmer, you know, looking for the red-bellied black snake. It's very black and shiny on top of it. It's extremely hard to miss. Actually, I don't know how people can step on a snake. It's so obvious. I haven't already caught one. It's not long until I find another black snake on the mood. And you can see, he's not real happy. Alright, there we go. Alright, we've got two red belly black snakes now. This one's just a little bit larger than the last one. But these guys here, they're actually quite common. Whoop, settle. Hey, hey. They're actually quite common out here. Particularly in areas where there's like a marsh. There's a lot of frogs, there's a lot of food. And when there's a lot of frogs and food, you're going to find plenty of snakes. See how many we can get. From experience, it's always important when handling venomous snakes that your hand is held high up on the snake's tail. You should note that many snake species, including black and brown snakes, can easily reach the tip of their tail in a single strike. Chuchi, in the case that you are tagged by a snake, you should always carry a first aid kit with you. Otherwise, there's no use stressing if you've got reflexes like a cat. Here we have is free. Red belly black snakes that we've been able to catch out here on the swamp. I'll tell you what guys, I think we're going to be able to capture some rabbits. It's not that hard. With snakes, you've always got to look at the head, look at the tail, and pick your moment carefully. You're always going to be very careful. Right, get down. Always got to be very careful. At the end of the day, if one of these snakes is to get a bit of a bite on you, um, there's actually one of the most uh, venomous snakes in the world, the red belly black snake. So what we'll do is um, keep following us. Uh, we'll start making our way. Ah, ah, settle. Ah, settle. We'll start making our way uh, back towards the rabbit bar and I'll show you the technique that I can use in capturing rabbits. Be careful, be careful, because this guy, and now this guy here, is actually the fourth most venomous snake in the world. And he's, not, he's probably not as quick moving as the blacks. Let me just rearrange here, yeah, he's just flattening his neck out. You're okay, mate, you're okay, you're okay. Just give him close eyes, close eyes, close eyes. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Woo, there we go. One tiger, three blacks. Now, there's a little bit of a trick that I'm going to be showing you today. It's how to catch rabbits using snakes. It's a bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how. Okay, guys, come on. Let's go. Let's go get some rabbits. All right. Well, that was a bit of a quest. All right, so uh, we've got the snakes in the bag. We'll just keep them there for now. But what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to prepare um, the rabbit hole. So what we've actually done is we've just cleared a little bit of debris out from the hole just so it makes it a little bit easier to net. Placing specially designed nets over the rabbit holes ensures the rabbits get tangled and trapped in the net so it cannot escape. The rabbit is not harmed in this process and makes the capture quite easy. Alright, well, all right, well I'll show you exactly what I've done. I've netted all these holes, so I've netted about maybe uh, 10 or 11 holes uh, in total. So this is quite a big network actually, so I'm actually hoping to get two or three rabbits out of this network. Um, also making sure that the holes which are a bit iffy, which I'm not sure if a rabbit's going to come out of or not, Generally what I'll do is like here, you can see, all I've done is I've just shoved some sticks down there, I've sort of caged it in, so that rabbit, no, he ain't going to be coming out through there, he's going to be sticking right back down into the burrow. Alright, so I've just got these uh, three bucks out, I've just got the other tiger in the bag. What I'll do is uh, I'm going to try and be a little bit strategic about my approach with putting snakes in the holes to make sure we get a rabbit. So what I'll do is I'll put one, put one in here, there we go, put one snake in. 
Um, one of my booms is I'll put another black maybe in through here. Go back, go back. There you go. I might put this big boy up over here. So, settle down, settle down, settle down. Alright, now let's go back and get the tiger. Alright, there's a big tiger. Alright, follow us out this way. Come on boys, smash down the ball today. Get the tiger. In through this way. Go back, go back. Come on. Go, go. Come on, go. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Go, 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 go. Alright, now this is where it's the waiting game. So uh, I guess what I'll get you to do, I'll get you to go back, uh, set up on the tripod, and then uh, we'll sit and wait. Uh, you might as well have lunch, boys, because I'll tell you what, it might be a little bit of a wait out here. This can be a bit of a waiting game. Oi, Andrew, Andrew! Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Okay, okay. Okay. Woo! There you go. I've just got to be careful that bloody snake doesn't come out. Alright, well that's one rabbit that you can just see. Right there. I told you it was a possible technique. I told you it was.